Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird, and welcome to the fourth pre-release of Minecraft version 1.8.2 with a bit of 1.9 news to talk about as well. Now this should have been pre-release version number two, but there was a weird issue with creepers, blazes, pigs, ocelots, rabbits, and iron golems. They were spontaneously suffocating half a heart each second until their untimely deaths, but luckily they're all better now. So let's talk about what's different in this version of the game. With 1.9 snapshots and name changing on the way, 1.8.2 is mostly about fixing up the 1.8 update. This week is specifically focusing on a major bug that players could exploit, with some hopper and arrow bugs of all things thrown in for good measure. So a lot of common issues with arrows have been fixed, such as them visually glitching or seeming to bounce around when they shoot out. If you shot them underneath a block, you can see they're a bit darker here, but they would appear completely black with some weird shadow issues with lighting and stuff like that. Fake arrows appearing and things of that nature, all of that has been fixed. Hopefully one of those common bugs will uh, be fixed from all these arrow glitches being solved. A lot of the time when you shoot mobs, you guys might have noticed this, if you charge up a bow shot and shoot a mob, sometimes it would like repel off of them like they had a mysterious force field. But uh, a lot of this stuff has just been in the game for a while, so it's nice to see some of it get fixed. Over here, I have this crazy nether portal here, and uh, there's a big bug with them in 1.8. If you throw an item in, it'll occasionally crash the game, so you gotta be careful about that. And uh, I noticed, speaking of arrows, they're still a little glitchy where if you shoot them really close to the portal, they'll still go through, but if you were to shoot an arrow normally at a portal, and it goes through the, uh, the little purple particles there, it goes into the nether, but yeah, if you do things like shoot them right next to the portal like so, they'll still go through. So there's still some bugs to solve with arrows and things like that, but hopefully a lot of that will get fixed in the future. Now, this version is fixing a huge exploit that you might remember from 1.7. I talked about it a bit in a video way back in 2013. You could break through blocks by growing saplings, or there's a popular new method. If you place a bed on tall grass, both of uh, these methods will allow players to easily tunnel through bedrock. This is something you can still do until 1.8.2 is out, but you didn't hear that from me. So yeah, now it's been fixed where you can't do that glitch, it won't let you place the bed, and you can't really grow the saplings downwards like you could in uh, previous versions of the game. But that's been around for more than a year now, and I'm sure a lot of players have exploited that on servers. So let's get on to the 1.9 news. Dinnerbone has been tweeting up a storm with some very exciting but also very cryptic hints about the upcoming update. So he said, I'm totally working on one Minecraft 1.9 right now, hashtag tweets that don't really tell you all that much. So he has done this again where the developers love to do this where they tease features but they don't really tell you specifics about them to get us a little excited for the snapshots to come. But he mentioned wither bugs when he was tweeting about having issues with solving something in the game. And then he also followed up by saying, as, I was, uh, why, as to why I was poking around in the wither, he has something that I needed which will be important to my 1.9 plans. And he also said, my idea for 1.9 is something I've wanted to add for years now, but never got the time. I'll be so happy if I can pull this off successfully. So that was very vague, but we now know that he's working on a feature that involves something with the wither. So we can kind of analyze a little bit and try to figure out it could be the Wither's protective armor, maybe spawning a boss in the overworld. We know that he talked about in the past using the new Endermite mob in uh, conjunction with the Dragon Egg to do something. So maybe you can, you know, spawn a boss that way by having an Endermite go into the Dragon Egg. That's the big theory that a lot of people have talked about. But we really don't know. He also did a bit of hinting by saying, I don't want to spoil anything that isn't 100% going to happen absolutely guaranteed for reals, but I can however say that it will involve and then cut off right after the letter C. So a lot of people are theorizing, this, theorizing about what this could mean. It could just be something with crafting, because the wither, you actually have to craft. It's, uh, it's called world crafting. When you build something like an iron golem or a wither or another portal in the world and you're crafting a new thing by placing down blocks. So maybe he's using that world crafting feature for something else, but we'll have to see though. It's just something to do with a word that begins with C, so we'll have to see. And uh, he also followed up by saying, oh dear, what a ter terrible time to be cut off by the Twitter character limit. So he's trolling a bit and, uh, and teasing, but we should know pretty soon because we know the developers have been working on 1.9 for a while 
and hopefully we'll get this explosion of features when we get our first snapshot, kind of like with 1.8 and 1.7. We got a ton of features on the first one because they held off for so long. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this and you want to see more, maybe think about subscribing. And if you did enjoy it, maybe leave a like. I definitely appreciate it. You can follow me on Twitter at Swimmingbird941 if you want to see the videos as soon as they're posted. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys soon for some 1.9 updates. Goodbye.